Hi, I'm Ashley. And I'm Gabby. And this is our demonstration dog, Biscuit. And today we're going to be showing you how to check your pet's vitals from the comfort of your own home. Today we'll be showing you how to check the respiratory rate, heart rate, and temperature. So let's start with your pet's respiratory rate. Simply put, this is the number of breaths your dog or cat takes in one minute. To measure, you're going to watch your pet's chest rise and fall. If that's tricky to see, you can place your hand on their chest or their abdomen to feel the motion. One full rise and one fall equals one breath. So you're gonna set a timer for 15 seconds and count how many breaths occur during that time. Multiply that number by four to get the breaths per minute. For example, if I counted eight breaths in 15 seconds, eight times four is 32 breaths per minute. The average resting respiratory rate in cats is 16 to 40 breaths per minute. In dogs, it's 18 to 40 breaths per minute. Next, we'll show you how to check your pet's heart rate. If you don't have a stethoscope, don't worry. You can use their femoral pulse located inside the thigh near their groin. You'll just place your index finger in the middle fingers and count the beats you feel over 15 seconds. And you multiply that by four beats per minute. Um, so for example, go right here, you count. I felt 25 beats in 15 seconds, so 25 times four would be 100 beats per minute. In a smaller slender pets, you might also feel the heartbeat through the chest, though this can be more difficult in the larger deep chested dogs. Average resting heart rates for cats would be about 160 to 200 beats per minute. Um, small dogs would be about 70 to 120 beats per minute and larger dogs like Biscuit here, 50 to 100 beats per minute. Now let's move on to checking your pet's temperature. The most accurate method is using a flexible tip baby thermometer or a pet specific digital thermometer. For a calm and safe environment, it helps to have a second person gently hold and comfort your pet during the process. This procedure itself is painless, although your pet may squirm a little out of protest. So you're going to apply a small amount of petroleum jelly or lubricant to the tip of the thermometer. Then you're going to gently lift your pet's tail and carefully insert the thermometer about one inch into the rectum. Hold it in place until the reading is done. It usually beeps when it's done. Gently remove the thermometer and sanitize it using alcohol wipes. Both dogs and cats' temperatures should fall between 99.5 and 102.5 degrees Fahrenheit. Contact your veterinarian or visit Central's ER if your pet is showing signs like open mouth breathing for cats, um, a consistent temperature above 102.5 degrees Fahrenheit, or labored or increased respiratory effort while resting. Mm -hmm.